Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new week of the OPOP League. Today, guys, it is week number nine, I'm pretty sure. And we're going to be up against Trainer Chip. Of course, Trainer Chip, big content creator. He's also a caster for Pokemon. Great personality. Go check him out, guys. Of course, link will be down below in the description. But yes, Vivid Voltage is finally in the OPOP League now. So we get to play with Vivid Voltage decks. And uh, the ones that I've chose today are pretty cool. So we'll take a look at the Vivid Voltage decks I chose. Now, the two main ones are going to be... I'm going to play my OPOP League Colossal deck. I did take out one weak card for a sixth fighting energy but i am going to be playing at my opop league um or my 12th place colossal deck uh today against trainer chip also and then i'm also going to be playing my orbital dugong deck now this is not the same list i brought to the pokemon tourney it's a little bit different i've added a few extra cards and you know changed the deck around a little bit but i am going to be playing this orbital v max deck here also um against trainer chip these are gonna be the two decks i'm really gonna play i guess like my third filler deck is going to be this you know the pika rom mewtwo deck i'm not gonna play this deck today but this is just kind of here just to be there but yeah guys, the main two decks i'm gonna be playing guys is orbital and colossal we're gonna try these decks out see if we can win against trainer chip so let's get straight into these matches we're doing pretty well in the opop league we're top i think we're top eight right now so let's see if we can keep it up all right guys we're gonna open up with colossal here against trainer chip we'll see how it does here we'll see what he's gonna play I'm pretty sure Viv Voltage is legal, so we'll see how we do here. We do lose the coin flip. All right, that's fine. Give him that heart. Yo, we got to give him the heart hello, bro. We got to give him the heart hello. All right, yeah. Viv Voltage should be legal, right? Just, I'm making sure. If if it's not, then I guess I got to retweet my decks, but it, I'm pretty sure they said it was legal. All right, let's see how we start here. Ooh, we got a Guru start. No, actually, not, not a bad hand. The Quick Ball can find us a colossal v um, which is pretty good i would say we'll see how we do here all right he's playing pika Ooh, not a great matchup for trainer chip all right this is what we want though we want you know we want our opponent to be playing a deck that you know we can hit for weakness but we'll see how we do here pikachu v max can do a lot of damage it can't one shot me if electric power was in the format it'd actually be a little bit more threatening um in all honesty but we'll have to see how this goes um I think we go Quick Ball away the Goose Mahala, maybe? Either that or a Marnie. I don't know. I don't... I think we might have to... I I don't know, because they could knock... They could actually get a knockout on my Colossal. Like, I know they do play four bosses order, because I've seen Chip's deck. So they could they could easily go Electrode into into the Raichu. Or to, into, not into the Raichu, sorry. The Pika... Uh, the, the, yeah, the Pika VMAX. And then they can boss out my Colossal V. So we actually get two down. I think we're going to get rid of the Guzma Hala. Yeah, I think that's fine. I mean, if they do get a knockout, then we do get access to Dojo, which means we one-shot Pikachu v with option shot. So I'm actually, it's actually better if that does happen. So we'll let him knock out the Guru. We just got to hope for the best here off this Quick Ball. I mean, we could actually go Stone Energy but Pat on a Colossal V, uh, which would give us enough HP to tank a hit, technically. Uh, Surf Fetch is actually really good here, too, potentially. Might want to consider using that. Uh, Primate Wisdom on Marnie just to conserve it. In case we don't draw anything. Hey, never mind. All right, you know what? We're just getting this opportunity and then Quick Ball for... Uh, maybe Crobat, actually, just to try to get set up a little bit better. Yeah, I actually don't mind that. Let's do it. Just try to get set up more. Hey, we got a Hammer. That could be good. All right, never mind. Hammer, do not go burr. Uh, we play the Great Ball. Mm, I was hoping for another Colossal. We'll drop the Fion. We'll have to just put the weak guard, I guess, on the Colossal V. And we're just going to... Mm, we could switch, actually, into the Fion. I kind of like that, just so... I don't really care about Fion in this matchup, right? I'd rather, you know, keep the Guru around for a rainy day. Okay, we got some energy for next turn. Might even hold in the hand. I do want to... No, we need another second Colossal. I think we need to try to dig for Colossal. There we go. But the thing was, you know, I can go Colossal V Max. We have the, we have the energies in our hand. But I think we just want to make sure we have two Colossals. So at the very least... We can get one Colossal VMAX and play next turn. On the off chance, they do go Electrode, Pikachu, Boss, Knockout, Colossal V. I think just having two Colossal Vs is more important than just trying to hold a hand. Because they might not even knock me out, right? They might not knock out the Fion. So, I think we just chill out, wait a turn, see where this takes us. All right, there's the Electrode. So, we do get a prize. I guess Electrode actually does make it not possible for Martial Arts Dojo to do its thing. All right, there's a Marnie. Hopefully, we don't get a dead hand here. We actually have lost a few draw cards. All right, we're chilling. Got a reset stamp. Might be able to play that if they knock a Colossal. So, they can go Electrode. Um, yeah, you may search for two Lightning. So, it has to be on your bench. Right, okay. So, they go Kaboom here. They could also go Electrify. That's not the worst play either. 
But they go Electrify. I definitely think we maybe try to go aggressive with Colossal if we can. And uh, just try to take prizes. Because we can't... They're not going to put two Pikachu VMAX in play, right? They're always going to go Pikachu VMAX, Bolton, maybe Coco. So, yeah. we. I think we would want to just take a prize as quick as possible. I mean, to be fair, they, they once they go Electrode, all we got to do is knock out Pikachu VMAX and Bolton. Though they could just attack with Pikachu V. Does 200 damage. That is a lot of damage. They could do that. We'll see what they decide to go for. More importantly, we'll see if they have a boss's order. Again, I don't really care if Fionn gets knocked out, so... We'll see. I mean, obviously, I want to keep the Guru around. It's the one of the most important cards in the deck, if not the most important card in the deck, apart from Colossal himself. So, let's see what they go for here. Now, they get Crobat. Try to draw a couple of the card. Fair play. There's that buzz app generator. Doing that before the Crobat is smart too, thin out the deck. So let's see what they get here. I'm assuming they're definitely looking for boss's order. We got a prize, so let's see what we get. Another Colossal. That's not bad. We could bench that. I do think we just go Colossal VMAX, Sir Fetch, Colossal VMAX. There's the Crobat, yeah. So let's see here. They could also go. Could they go Coco Prism? They could go Coco. They could go Coco Prism Bolt Hunt. Which would be bad. Obviously, if they give the Pikachu, we possibly knock it out. Oh, the goal art, do they have a boss? They do not. Okay. So, we don't actually have Dojo activated just yet. So, we don't get to knock him out. That's fine, then. Let's see what we, we get off our prizes. Our, our top deck. Sir Fetched. We have one other Colossal in the deck. So, I think we can bench Sir Fetched. Because we might need a Dene here. So, I'm just kind of kind of weighing down on that. We might have to go to Dene to keep digging. So, we'll keep our bench spot open. Let's research. All right, nice. We got the uh, attack off. So let's see what this gets us. Ah, hammers do not go burr. Hammers don't go burr. And here we go. Eruption shot. So it won't one shot them, obviously, but it can hit them pretty hard. There's a quick ball for next turn. That's pretty good. How much are we doing here? 260? Yeah, so I got 50 HP. So we could even knock them out with like normal eruption shot, which is pretty good. So we don't have to get energy to knock this thing out. They can hit me pretty hard though. I guess like their game plan is try to knock this out. We had a Malolana right now, that'd be good. We did just discard one though. We're probably not gonna get one unless we can top deck Tag Call. But we can go Malolana, that'll be pretty good. They could also uh, switch into the Bolt Hunt here. That's not a terrible play either. Oh, they're going for the G Max. All right. 260 damage. Okay, let's see if we can draw anything good. Okay, no Malolana. I think we definitely attach. We can Dedenne here, but we're losing a lot of energy. I don't really wanna do that. We could also boss out the Bolt Hunt, because this thing has no energy on it, and there's no Voltorb in play. So we could actually just knock out Bolt Hunt here. I actually don't mind that either, because this thing's not going to be attacking me anytime soon. I kind of like that. I think we do knock out the Bolt Hunt here. And we can maybe Malolana next turn. I mean, we don't even have a switching card, so I guess it doesn't matter to do Malolana. Yeah, might as well just Eruption Shot, knock out the Bolt Hunt here. Because, like, they can't attack me, right? They oh well, No, they could go... I guess they could go, like, Coco to this thing, I guess, but... That doesn't matter, in my opinion. And then we can just boss this Pikachu out for later. Plus, we don't walk into a reset stamp to, to two, which is pretty good, too. So, I feel a little bit safer just trying to make them get a knockout. I mean, they haven't played Coco yet, obviously. But, yeah, they could definitely go Coco. But even if they do that, we just hold our boss's order to knock out Pikachu. Or we just boss them next turn. I don't really know. Would have been nice to get another Colossal down. I think we got our research. We Primate Wisdom the research? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, maybe we should just knock out the Pikachu. But again, I don't want to walk into a reset stamp. They've only played one so far, so... I mean, they might just stand me this turn, obviously. If we actually had a Crushing Hammer that turn, we could have removed their energy off the Pikachu V and knocked out the Bolt Hunt, which would have made it impossible to attack me. So that would have been pretty good, too. But if they do go Pikachu, they got to discard all energy, so it's like they'll be stranded anyway. So it's like still pretty bad for them. They have to go Coco and Voltorb here. But if they go Voltorb, they're one, you know, knockout away from losing. So it's like they're still in a pretty precarious spot right now. You know what I mean? We'll see what they got, though. Probably gonna get a uh, Coco Prism unless it's prized. Let's see, they might have prized the Coco. I'll have to see what they got. I think honestly though, if we can get a Colossal top deck, I mean we can also just quick ball the Dene. Oh, they failed the com, bro. Oh no, did he prize the uh, Coco? He's got the stamp. Okay, so now we just need to get Boss to win the game. And we can even just do Eruption Shot without an energy on top. No Boss there. Okay, that's fine. Nope, they got a day change. All right, they're not attacking me this turn. That is the important thing. They must have prized their Coco. That's pretty good. They must have prized the Coco. All right, yeah, that's game. 
We'll give him... Oh, no, it's not game. What am I saying? <laughs> We're not out yet. We could Marnie. No, we definitely just research. We're just digging. Dig, 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 dig. All right, another Colossal. We do get the Dojo. Yeah, this point is pretty relevant. Put the boss on top of the deck, I guess, in case of a Marnie. And here we go. G-Max Boulder. If we had a Switch, I also could have went Surf Fetch, which would have been decent, too, because it can't get one shot. Oh, no, it can't get one shot. What am I saying? I thought, I thought they were attacking the Pikachu V, but they're not. Um, do they have a third reset stamp is what this could come down to. If they have a third stamp here, we are definitely not out of the game just yet. We'll see. I mean, they, they can't knock me out with uh, G-Max Volt Tackle um, because we do have the uh, we have the stone. So they actually have to discard the energy to kill me here. Ooh, they got a zap though. So that's spicy. I mean, the band lets them do 130, which is still not knockout, right? Because we have the stone energy. Stone energy reduces it by 20. Yeah. They'd only be doing 130. So they actually, they're 10 short on the knockout. Unless they have a tool scrapper, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, they have a tool scrapper. They kill me. There's the Marnie. All right, perfect. That's why I put the boss on top of the deck. That means there's no stamp, probably. Or maybe they do have a stamp. Maybe they were just playing it to draw and they want to get stamp. We'll see. We're guaranteed the boss, so. And the energy, too, so we got game. Well, it doesn't matter, right? We boss out the other Pikachu and win no matter what. And all right. So, they, yeah, they have to get rid of all the energy here to knock me out. And that is going to be game here. Game one against Trainer Chip. Yep, let's hit him with the wild played. We also could win with Sir Fetched, right? So we have the option to go Sir Fetched. Uh, but I think we just boss this out. All right, cool. Let's go boss. Corruption shot. That's game. All right. Glad I played Colossal first because we hit a good matchup. And that's, uh, that's what I was aiming for. Cool stuff. All right. So we'll switch over to the Orbital Dugong deck. We'll see if we can win a game with this. Again, I'm pretty confident with it. Uh, you know, we're using Dugong. I haven't done a video on this deck yet, so there will be one soon at some point. But we'll see. We're going to play the Dugong Orbital deck here. All right. Does he get to... I don't remember. Do they get to choose to go first or not? Let me see. All right, hold on. Give him the GG's. See what he says. Yeah, we're gonna play the Orbital Dugong deck here. I'm gonna see how it does. Um, Cause you never know what he'll play. All right, he's gonna go first. All right. So he says he's gonna go first here. So we go Orbital Dugong. We'll see how this goes. We get to use this deck twice. So you gotta see some extra action with this deck. Let's see if we can uh, win with it. Oh, looks like he's playing the Pikachu deck again. I'll go first. All right, here we go, Todao. All right, we lost one, so that's good. So I don't have to like under under pressure not go first. All right, well, he's playing a fire deck. I think he's got a fire coin. That's not good. We are playing a deck that doesn't have weakness, but we do have Dugong, so maybe it's not too bad. Do we bench this? Yeah, I think we do. I was thinking, do we want to calm for like a draw card? But we can always just bench it and then draw it later. It's not, we have four beetles, not too big of a deal. Oh, he's playing the Charizard deck. Okay, so in this matchup, we use both Vigavolt and Dugong. Preferably Dugong, or well, actually it doesn't really matter, right? That's not a seal though, that's a pretty bad hand. I mean, him going first is bad, obviously. If we just get Dugong here though, we're chilling. Next we have Bird Keeper. I don't really like Bird Keeper though, it's not really drawing me many cards. The Dene does get rid of a Leon. So he's doing 300 damage with the Charizard now, but not enough to one-shot the Orbeetle. Okay. This, again, this is a great matchup for the Dugong. Ooh, the, the Broken Heart. Did he whiff? Ooh, he's got Sinchino. That's another interesting card. There's a decent amount of ways to play this Charizard deck, but it looks like he did whiff the Charmander, which is what we need. So now I kind of actually feel like going calm here for the seal. Um, especially if he doesn't have a Charmander. A, let's go. All right, what do we draw? Herb Energy. All right, we can put the Swell down. We can calm here. Get a seal. We have one Dugong prize. We could actually just go Vika Volt too. That's not that's not a bad idea either. Going Vika Volt here, but with seal, no. We definitely. I think we go Vika Volt. We can always use Dugong in the late game, right? Or no, no not seal. Sorry, the or the the Viki Volt. I guess we could have actually set up a Coco play. Ooh, that's not a good hand for next turn. I oh, just got the pass. This hand is actually pretty bad. We can we can item lock him though, which is strong. We get the item lock off. We're not in a, uh, we didn't really get a good hand though, which is the only scary thing. 
Now, I'm glad I didn't go seal, though, because, I mean, we got the triple. We had no way to find Dugong, so. And he might play Mew also. You never know. He might have the Mew, right? He can Mew protect the Charmander. But, yeah, if we go Vigavolt early on enough, we can try to item lock him for a bit. And then we try to go with the uh, Dugong play. So, our best top deck here is a Supporter or an Orbital VMAX. That is not... It's none of the above. All right, we're just going to have to switch into Vigavolt and just item lock him and hope for the best. He could have Charmeleon in his hand. He can't knock me out, though, unless he goes... With another Leon? No, he needs three Leon or one Leon, and he has to play that Leon to get this to get that second one to discard and knock me out to do 230. So Vigavolt actually tanks pretty hard here. So that's good. As long as he doesn't play Charmeleon, we should be chilling. This damage is relevant on the draw cheat, because it makes it easier to knock it out with Orb Beetle. We also can super zap can in the Charmander if anything comes down. We do need to get a supporter ASAP though. If we don't draw something soon, we could get uh Pulverized, especially if he gets Charmeleon. Nope, no Charmeleon. All right. That would have been good for Dugong. But the important thing is we can finally go Orbeetle. We can't actually use Eerie Beam just yet. I mean, I don't really don't really care, but we can't go Orbeetle just yet because we don't have another pivot card. We'll wait a turn. We can just item lock him and just kind of go from there. There's a Dugong. Ooh, it's not a good prize. We need a supporter. A Marnie would have been really good. If we had a Marnie here, that would have been nice. Give him a four card hand and item lock him. The Marnie would have been nice, but can't get, can't win them all. Let's see. Did he get the Charmeleon? He did not. All right. This is good. And we do an energy again. I mean, actually, we can hold that for Super Zap Cannon. We'll just go Paralyzing Bolt. Just once again. We could have went with the Orbeetle play there. We could, you know, we could have switched into Orbeetle, retreated the energy, set up Coco for later on down the road, get the Eerie Beam off. But uh, what's the point of doing Eerie Beam, you know? Other than 20... If, but we do need to get 20 damage on the Charizard, so Orbeetle can one-shot, obviously. We do need a supporter ASAP. There's a Leon. Retreat. He's going to Ember me for 60. Okay. That is pretty relevant numbers, obviously. Oh my god. Bro. Give me the... Give me a supporter. Bro, what are these draws? Why do I have all these triples? Bro, if I draw a research here, I'm going to be pretty salty. All right, nice. Come on. We have, we're buying so much time here. I'm just going to keep doing this. I mean, again, we we need a supporter, bro. Where are they at? That is not a supporter. That is a tool scrapper, which is useless because my opponent can't even play tools. Bro, where are my supporters at? We could literally be in a dominant position if we can draw a supporter. Yo, game. Pokey gods. Bless me up one time for a supporter here. Come on. What? I, I, I mean, I don't want to research, but I want a supporter. One time, bless me up with a Marnie, dude. Come on. One time. I need to see it. Like... Run out of time here. He's going to get a Charmeleon down. And once he gets Charmeleon, we're in trouble. There's a research. Ooh, a lot of resources discarded. Three rare candies down. I mean, he could run out of rare candy too, right? If he does go Charmeleon, he runs out of rare candy. We could win that way too. Because then he only has one Charizard to work with for the entire game. And that makes Dugong even deadlier. There's a Charmeleon. We could draw a boss. We could knock it out with boss here, which would be good. Okay, we drew a supporter. Not the one I really wanted again. Not. It's not the one I really cared for, but... But then we can't do Dugong. He knocks me out with Charizard. Ooh, we could switch into Orbeetle. Yeah, we could go Orbeetle here. Save the Vigable for later. Ugh, I don't really want to lose all these triples, though, bro. We got to go for it, though, I think. He's got a full send. Ah, oh, that sucks. Not the support I wanted, but not much he can do. Whoa. Well, I guess we actually could switch Orbeetle. Then we can't do Coco. We could attach to the Orbeetle, but I want to get energy. I want to get energy on this. Hmm. We could save the hand too, obviously, but I think we do have to just go research here. That really sucks. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's no Marnie in sight. Still didn't really get that great of a hand off that either, unfortunately. We can get Seal here though. Well, that'll be our last triple, I guess. Ooh, maybe we shouldn't have gone to seal. Maybe we can still use Dugong to do 120 damage, though. It's not too bad. We didn't also didn't get a pivot card, so we have to mainly retreat here. So we could go double Orb Beetle, knock out the Jirachi. But then we don't have an attacker. But again, we have the option to Super Zap Cannon one-shot the Charizard, which is pretty good. But we can always knock out the Charizard next turn with Orbital VMAX anyway. So yeah, I think we just knock them out with Item Lock here. I mean, they might not even have Charizard in their hand, right? You never know. How many Lightnings are we down? Just the one. 
So definitely we pop this now, even though we could get two next turn, I think we still pop it now just to uh, have that option available. Then we Paralyzing Bolt and they knock me out. Would have been nice to pop off a little bit earlier, but we have the Dugong option too, if we can find it. No, that's not a Dugong. We could Crobat though for Dugong. We could Crobat try to draw the other Dugong. To be fair though, we could still like, we're still probably winning this, I feel like. Like it's still kind of tough for my opponent to win this. Ooh, did they not get the Charizard here? They have they have three in the deck, so yeah, there it is. I was gonna say. It's very likely they get it. They have one rare candy left. So they really only if they actually battle sense to get rid of a rare candy here, we're in a really good spot. Because then they're out of rare candy altogether. No. But they, maybe they got the rare candy. Vigabolt, you know what? You did work though. You were really good here. Now you gotta rest king. We can knock him out with Orbeetle. And then we gotta figure out a way to knock out to Dene. See how this goes. What do we top deck? Another Orb Beetle? We could... We could do boss on this, I guess. But what do we have to knock it out? That's the only problem. It's like one con. What do we quick ball away? I guess... I don't want to get rid of Orb Beetle because we can calm for Dugong. I also don't want to get, get rid of boss, though. Now we'll get rid of boss. We can always knock out the Sinchino, I guess. Um, so we go Guru. We go Guru, save the triple. I wish I got Guru earlier to save those other triples. Ooh, we got a Marnie here. That might be better than the research, to be honest. We knock this out for 150, thanks to the double Orbital. We Marnie them to four. I actually think Marnie's probably the better play, right? Take away their hand size. Yeah, I think we just go Marnie. See if we get Dugong. Got to Dene for Dugong. We did get the uh, boss though, but we can't one shot to Dene just yet. Yeah, I think we just G Max Wave. Not much else I can really think of there. There's no other card I think I need. Mimikyu would have been good if they had a uh, or Corio down. Another Marnie. That's where our Marnie's for Burly Reprise. All right, let's see. We Marnie him. He's got one rare candy left. There's a good chance he doesn't find Charizard here. He does have a Make Do to work with, but. The rare candy could be at the bottom of his deck. So, let's see if he has rare candy here to uh, to knock me out. If he has rare candy, do we just lose, actually? No, we don't, because we can still knock him out of Orbeetle, and he still has no attacker. Unless he has a Talon Flame or a Heat Ran to finish the game off here, Orbeetle VMAX should take a hit. We should still win this game, even if he does knock me out here. Because he's down, he's down, he's out of rare candy after this, right? So, we should still win, right? He's down, he'll be out of rare candy... He might not even find the rare candy. Ooh, he can raw though. That puts the Charmeleon back. He could put a Charmander down, but then he'll still be a turn behind anyways, right? So it doesn't matter. He'll still be a turn behind. He'll put a Charmander down and then, he, you know, he can evolve Charmeleon, but again, he'll be a turn behind. And then at that point we can still go Dugong and then knock out the Sinchino and whatever else. Okay, he got the research. Ooh, he does lose. He does lose that Charizard. Let's see what he got rid of there. Oh, no, Charmeleon. So they did play two Charmeleon. Well, good thing it took him long to find it again, because we were in a pretty rough spot in that early game. Great ball for Charizard. Yeah, he got the candy. It's pretty unlikely he does whip it, obviously. Like, he probably got it, right? He knocks me out. We knock him out. He's out of her candy. He can't pop off with another Charizard. And we win. We could also win with uh, Dugong here if we can, if we can get a uh, Dugong. We could also win with Dugong. So we have multiple ways we can win in this turn. We'll see if we uh, pull off either or. Either or or Beetle. Haha, <laughs> get it? Oh, he whiffed. Oh, no. He whiffed. He whiffed. All right, let's go. Now we win with Dugong. Yo, can we top deck at one time? That's not Dugong. So we can go Eerie Beam. I think we just dead a change here and then... We Primate Wisdom the, uh, we have two comms. So yeah, we Primate Wisdom the triple on top of the deck. And before we draw a Dugong, and then we just Dead a change for it. Reset stamp. Might as well play it. We could do a second, uh, Orbeetle here. Does that really matter? Not really. Yeah, it doesn't really matter if we do another Orbeetle, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. We just Dead a change. I guess we do it anyways. It, yeah, 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 we should do it anyways. Yeah, I'm still good to do it. All right. 
Now we just need to get triple energy dugong one time. Let's go, and that's game. All right. We got him, boys. We got him. The dugong hype. Let's go, bro. The dugong. And uh, yeah, that is why I like Warbeetle dugong. It is really good. All right, let's go. And we go boop, boop, and that's game. Dugong or beetle for the win and yes there will be a video on this deck at some point in the future don't worry guys there will be a video on this deck very soon because i really like this deck but that'll be it against trainer chip guys um two two wins in a row again i think we get a lot of points for that so we should be a big chillin uh we might crack top five top six now in the opop leagues that's pretty exciting um but yeah shout out to trainer chip again guys his channel will be linked down below make sure you go check it out give him a subscribe if you haven't already uh, follow his Twitter down below. Link that also in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you guys on another OPOP League and another video tomorrow. Peace out.